hi everyone and welcome back to the channel as ever you can find me over on instagram at the house of langford and at overall sews i'm also on ravelry at mad x stitcher and box 40 has arrived so um yeah this is a box 40 of a crochet society subscription box and this is the first box for 2023 now actually the outside of the box is very unassuming because it's just two colours. So it seems quite plain. But we're going to get it open and see what goodies we've got for this month. So it says a lot can happen in a year. It's very organised. quite like the look of that. And we've got some peachy tissue paper. So we're going to have a look and see what we've got. Cotton Soft Candy DK from King Cole. This yarn is really soft. My local yarn shop stocks it and it is just really nice to work with. So that's a nice surprise to have something completely different. This colourway is called Blossom and we actually have two balls of it. So what it has is like pink, blue and purple spots within it or flecks. So you get a little bit of colour as you're working it up as well. There is a planner. That's massive. So we've got this really nice planner. Now these are the ones where you can buy extra sheets and they just slot into the rings, which is quite cool. So we'll get that open in a little while and see what sort of pages we've got to work with. Love the gold details on it. It does say on the same on the front, it says good things are coming so yeah there is a random button <laughs> a little wooden button we have crochet hook 4.5 we have oh it's come off the card but we do have a stitch marker which has got a little planner book on it as well which says notes and then we have our project book. So let's pop this back in here for now. And we'll see what we've got. Okay, so front cover is very organised. So, and we've got the designers on the bottom. So Heavens, Heather C. Gibbs, Zoe Petruck and Kate Heppel. Pretty sure we've had designs from them all before. So let's see what we've got so it says welcome to your frosty crochet society box oh we're stepping to a new year that is full of possibilities this month's box will help you organize your stash and unleash all the potential of the materials you have at home the new year prompts new starts but that doesn't have to mean ditching those half finished projects we are here to help you step forward into the new year and new projects with a fresh slate so we have a magical market bag, lattice pouch, and then Parisian knot scarf. We also have tea and chat with Heather C. Gibbs. A what's in your box page, yarn info, how to read a chart. And then there is a page that says about some free patterns, which is quite nice. So that is the first spread in our book so we've got our chat with heather c gibbs oh she's did the she did the care bear patterns i love them they're so cute so the first project is by kate heppel and that is the lattice pouch it says keep your essentials essential tools safe with this handy storage pouch and it's got some nice lace work or not lace work lattice work on the front um, using front posts so that'll be interesting to see um, how that stitch works up then we have a what's in your box so we've got a picture of everything in the box we've got the planner stitch marker and hook so like i said we'll have a look at what's in the planner in a little while we then have information about the yarn 
This is Everyday Luxury King Cole Cotton Soft Candy DK is a joy to crochet with. To crochet with, it really is. And they have quite a few um, different colorways as well for this, which is really nice. So we then have the Magical Market bag, which has got some lace lace stitch work going on here. That is by Zoe Patrack. Then there's a page on how to read a pattern. There's also a graph in there as well. And then we have the Parisian Knot Scarf, which is here. And that one is by Heversy Gibbs. So it's got a page next about some of the free DK patterns. So they are on craftworld.com. One of which is actually um, a shawl pattern from a previous box, which is this one. That's a free pattern. We then have sooty at the top, which I think is actually knit. There's Danny the Deer, who is crochet, and then there's the Giovanni, Giovanni um, blanket, which I think is mosaic crochet, actually, down here. They're quite nice. And then we should have your makes page. So there's a lion on here. There is the fun of the fair bag, the CTC blanket from the essentials box. And we have a scarf, some mosaic crochet and the turtles. I still haven't done the turtles, but they are on my list. And I recently finished Lex the Lion as well. So maybe my picture will end up in here. We don't know yet. Um, but yeah. It's really nice seeing what everyone else has been working on. And then we again don't have a picture of the next box. It just has about subscribing. And it says spring is in here. So I wonder if that is kind of our theme for the next box. And as always, we have the abbreviations, or our cheat sheet, as I like to call it, on the back of the book. So, I don't know what I would make, actually. I quite like the idea of the scarf. A cotton scarf is really nice. So I might actually make the scarf in this book. But let's have a look at what is in the planner, and some of the pages we've got. So it's got... Plastic sleeve on the side just to cover up the um, elastic that's holding it together. It's got gold elastic. So it says, let's plan life. So good things take time. So we've got a calendar in the front. And then there is a page for each month or a double spread for each month with goals, to-do lists, reminders, notes. And then there are pages for notes as well in here. Then we have a tab that says organise. So it says you've got this on the front. And we've got to-do lists, which are always really handy. I love a to-do list because I like ticking things off to show that I've done them. And there's quite a few in here. So there's that one at the front. Then there is this style with for post-it note type things on it or blocks and then there are some straight lists as well there is also one that breaks up the week so there's a to-do list for the week as well so you can see it at a glance then we have a tab that says create. Let's see if this is all the same. So we've got, there's a few different ones. So we've got some squared sheets and there are also some dotted sheets. There are some blank ones in here, but you can see the other side has got a pattern on it. So you could sit and doodle in that. And then you've got some lined sheets as well which is all really useful and then the last tab is notes and we've got 
today's notes. I'm wondering if these are all different. These are all different. So there's different ones. Some of them are completely blank. Some have got lines on. So they're all different. And that goes right to the back of the book. There's a page in here that says quick notes as well, which is divide little ones like this. With little lists, which are really cute. So I have literally not long bought myself a new diary to use this year. So I'm not sure that I'll use this straight away, um, but it will be it will come in quite handy which is nice and maybe i'll use it just for design and projects that will be a good use of it won't it so yes that is the planner that we've got with our box for this month so this is everything in our box this month i also have the button in my hand as well and I think it's actually a really good way of getting everyone started nice and fresh for this year and taking charge of what you plan to do as well, especially with the planner. That's a really, really nice accessory to have. I quite like this box. It is very neutral though. So I have seen comments that people aren't really blown away by it, but you don't need to be blown away by these boxes um, as long as they teach you something and... I, I like the gifts as well. Um, so yeah, that is everything in this month's subscription box. Now, as I've said before, I'm not endorsed, affiliated or sponsored in any way. I buy the subscription and I like to do an unboxing video for you so you can see what's inside and get my reaction to it as well. I am going to enjoy working up the Cotton Soft yarn. I don't think I've actually used it before, but I know it's really soft and a lot of people have commented at the shop to say that they really enjoy working with it. So I'm going to enjoy working with it. And yeah, we'll see what um, comes next. So all the links for um, how to get your hold of a subscription yourself will be down below for you. There are obviously lots of other subscription boxes out there as well. I just like to get the crochet one for me. <laughs> so yes, thank you for watching and I'll see you all again next time. Take care. Bye.